everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crypto Anthropologist. In case it's your first time here, this is my channel where I talk about random things that interest me in terms of ancient civilizations, megalithic cultures, underwater archaeology, and things like that. So some time back, I made a video about interesting discoveries made with LIDAR, I mean LIDAR, and anyway, Although LiDAR has actually been used since the 1970s, its capabilities are growing more and more every year. In this image, we can actually see one of the first LiDAR scans that was ever done. This was during the Apollo 15 lunar mission in 1971, where it was used to create a surface map of the moon. When it comes to archaeology, what used to take two years of, or more of hard labor can actually be done in 40 minutes or less using LiDAR technology. So back in 2018, there was a massive network of Maya cities discovered using LiDAR in Guatemala. It covered around 2,000 kilometers, square kilometers, and they found over 60,000 different structures. But anyway, that was like just the start. So just last month, LiDAR was actually used to uncover the largest and oldest Maya structure found to date. So that's something that we'll take a look at in this video. Probably one of the most notable things about this particular finding was the sheer size of it. So the main structure that they found was not really high, maybe 10 to 15 meters high, but it was like 1.4 kilometers long. And although people have been researching on this area for many, many years, all this time they kind of just assumed it was a natural geological formation. Which, interestingly enough, is the same thing that people say about many other sites such as Gunung Padang and various interesting structures that were discovered around the world. So, so anyway, it was gone unnoticed all these years until they actually did the radar scanning over the area. Then apparently you could see quite clearly that it was man-made. So they dated this pyramid or man-made plateau to around 1000 BC, which is 3000 years ago. So the interesting thing is that previously people thought that Maya civilization was only just getting started at that time, like just small settlements, maybe not actually huge cities, but now they discover this massive thing that would have taken many, many people a long time to build. So clearly they were already quite advanced at this time. So aside from that, so attached to this plateau, they found around nine different large roads and causeways which connected this object to many different neighboring cities. So it's not just this one thing, but basically a whole network of cities that are all interconnected by lots of roads, where it's assumed that people would usually actually come to this place for kind of ceremonies, and they would come from all the different surrounding cities and actually meet here. So. Aside from this pyramid, and then we've got the roads, and then across and around the pyramid, there's all sorts of different large plazas, so like kind of gathering areas. And you can tell that they would have to be used by a lot of people just because of the sheer size of it, which you can see some of it in these photos. So according to the researchers on the site, it was probably used this whole area as some kind of ceremonial complex, because it has like a similar positioning to many other of the Maya structures, like a large uh, building, a monument with the different plazas, and of course just on a really really much larger scale. So aside from this discovery in Mexico, I found it interesting and also exciting how much technology is completely revolutionizing the way archaeology is done. It can be very difficult to discover how things were like in ancient times hundreds or even thousands of years ago, but LiDAR really makes it possible to, for lack of a better word, shine a light on all of these past civilizations. So something I've been thinking, what would you think would be the best place that you think a LiDAR scan should be done on? For me, I think I'm going to have to say Gunung Padang. For anyone else, if you had an interesting thought in mind, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!